I was searching for this video and I found it. That's exactly what you want to be doing for your business. When your ideal audience is searching for something, you want to show up. Now, we all know you have competition. We all know you have other businesses or companies or nonprofits trying to bid for the exact keywords and the exact things that you offer. So you need to be unique. You need to be different. And that's what I want to teach you in today's video is how we've learned to use AI to make you different, to make you stand out in the crowd, to make you show up when your ideal customer is searching for you, whether it's on Google, YouTube, or even social media, and then how to educate them and turn them into a customer. So let's start with a quick case study where I was showing up for the same things my competition was, and I was really trying to help people automate their marketing. Now, we've done this for multiple clients, but today I want to tell you about my story because it's helped us change so much. And what happens is I have a lot of competition. There's a lot of marketing companies out there, a lot of people out there trying to help with automation. I have to even compete with email marketing software and website software, and those people are really hard to compete with, right? So I said, all right, if I write blogs and make videos about the exact same thing, I'll never show up and I'm never going to be able to help the people searching for that. So what I did was I started looking for different ways to do the marketing and to write the blogs and to make the videos. And what we found was long tail keywords. Now, you might have heard of long tail keywords before. It's instead of two keywords that the most common keywords people type in to get millions and millions of views. It's about three to four different keywords like how to make a YouTube video or how to set up your custom office. Instead of how to set up your office, you add the word custom in there. Now you're not going to get as many searches, but your competition hasn't written about that, has not made a video about that yet. So when your ideal customer is searching for that, you're the only one that shows up. You'd rather have a piece of that small pie than try to compete for the full pie. And that's what I want to teach you today. So step number one is we want to do a search on our own. Before we do a video, before we write a blog, or anything. We want to go to Google and we want to type in what we think our customers are typing in. So let's do how to make a YouTube video. If I type that into Google, there's going to be millions of results, right? So let's try a little combination. How to make a YouTube video in your at your house. How to make a YouTube video at your house. Now you're probably going to have zero competition. There won't be any blogs, any YouTube videos about this. Now there may be, I'm just guessing right now, but Think of this as yourself. What is something that I would have typed in that I think my customers are typing in and then change it by one or two words and try to capture that small pie. Then once you find a topic you put into Google that no one else has written about, then it's time to go to YouTube. So then you wanna to go to YouTube, you wanna do the same thing. Take, take that exact topic you found in Google and put it in the YouTube search results. And if no one has a YouTube video about it, that's what you got to do. You got to write your blog. You got to make a video. You got to put it in your site and you have to get that rank because now you're going to start capturing the hundred people searching for that. And you don't have to worry about any competition yet until they find out. So that's step number one, do your own research, type in what you think and find a couple different words you can throw in there to capture a smaller pie. All right. Step number two is called the Google ad keyword planner. So whether you have a Google ad account or not set up yet, you want to go in there and set one up. You don't have to pay for anything. I think you have to put a card on file to get it set up and then just pause the ad. So in Google ads has a free keyword planner. What you can go do is type in your ideal keywords, what your business offers, and you can see how many search results. Then you can actually see the competition, low, medium, or high. What we want to do is find some secret keywords in there that have low competition. Then you're going to be able to start making your content around that. So we already know you're getting 100 to 200 uh, people searching for it per month. And maybe your ideal customer doesn't know to search for that, but they'll see these posts and these videos and these blogs on social media. So you're not only going to grab a small audience from Google, you're going to grab a small audience from YouTube, but you're also going to make your audience aware by reposting it on social media, maybe questions they didn't know they should search for. So those are really key points, right? Google, do your own research. YouTube, do your own research. Go to the Google ad keyword planner for free find some low competition keywords, and now it's time to get to work. All right, tip number three is go to something like Reddit, right? Some sort of forum where people are asking questions and then there's other people answering them. I think Reddit would be the ideal place here. Um, go there and then you can find common questions people are searching for, right? So if somebody's in Reddit, they're asking questions, they're asking for help. And this is where you can find more long-term, long-tail keywords. So 
Maybe somebody, instead of saying how to make a YouTube video at my home, somebody said, how do I make a YouTube video with my iPhone, right? So, and you're going to see a bunch of answers. Then you can take that into Google, but that's going to give you more questions that you can make topics on is you can go see what those people are actually asking. And if you're the one answering the questions, if you're the educator, if you're the college professor online, just like this, and you're helping them, you're answering those questions, you're providing the value, they're more likely to come to your website and work with you. So even if you find those questions and you're the one answering them, you're still going to be able to grow your business, grow your niche, grow your nonprofit. So it's really important to do your research before starting to publish blogs, AI blogs, videos, find those those keywords that you don't have to compete with the large competition with. All right, now that we've covered this, are you ready to get started? It's as easy as ever to get started. You can use AI, chat, GPT. You can have virtual assistants do this for you. There's so many different ways you can get started, right? So what I wanna give you um, something that will help is I have the AI content playbook here. This is the exact playbook we give all of our marketing machine clients where we set them up with virtual assistants and we give them this exact playbook to find these keywords, to write the blogs, to make the videos and put them into your site so you can rank number one. And that's really the goal, right? We wanna do this on a consistent basis. We wanna have a small team of virtual assistants doing it for you. And we need to be publishing, publishing, publishing so you start showing everywhere. So if you guys are interested, I'll put the link for the AI content playbook in the description. You can grab that and you can arm yourself with the exact strategies to make videos and blogs to outbeat your competition. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.